Um, five, game five. Yep. But we're going to go play this a poker This was round tournament. eight in the actual tournament. Right. Okay, I was black, so I decided to play the Chagorin. In my preparation for my opponent, I noticed he never faced the Chagorin. So he was already confused. So that was good. E5. Yeah, I almost never face CD in that position. And I almost always face here. He was thinking forever on every move. I never saw anybody play so slowly except me. And he played bishop d2, which surprised me instead of knight c3. Castle. So I'm just better here because he's going to get an isolated pawn. Put it in h. So yeah, this is just a great position for black until I messed it up. Isolated pawn, what else? Yeah, here I played like basically perfectly this game up until here. And this is, this, well actually here I played the engine move too. This is like my bread and butter. And since I became a vegan, you know, I, it's a, I can only eat certain kinds of bread and I have to eat vegan butter. So I'm not, I'm not as good in these positions anymore. Rook d5 is correct. a4. Yep, but still here I've played like a perfect game and I'm like plus one for black. And then I play as if I have no advantage. And I knew I had a big advantage here. He's got pawn structure is no good. My pieces are active, etc. He wants me to play rook g6 here. I played f6, never do that. That way his knight can't come in and my knight can start moving. Now he wants to infiltrate with his rook. So I played here. Now he wants to get his other rook here and come in. So I played rook e6. And trading rooks doesn't really, it makes it harder for me to press my advantage. And I traded more rooks. Yeah, then I did something incredibly stupid. I think it was here. Uh, yeah. Like, I like move without thinking. I played king here, which is really dumb. I thought he was going to play f3, stopping knight e4 check. But he just plays king d3. Now my move is ridiculous because he can play knight f1 to e3 or knight b1 to c3. Why'd I go there? Just going to get kicked back. So that was dumb. Yeah, and he played there. Now if I take, mm -hmm. then he checks me. And now he either perpetuals me, or if he wants to win, he plays f4. Then he wins. I lose my knight. So my technique was quite bad. So we just repeated here and then draw. Mm -hmm. It was just all zeros. So I went from, like, big advantage to little advantage to no advantage in, like, five moves. Yeah, king d5 was quite bad. Trading all the rooks was bad. So what Terrible. What would, should you have done instead to keep him from penetrating? Because I thought you were going to have to trade the rooks as soon as I saw your king go over there. Go king up here. So like I thought that was going to happen already. Yeah, wants me to play rook g6, rook g1, then b5. Try to attack his king. That makes sense trying to get at his king. That's what I was doing when I played rook d5. I was trying to get at his king. But I have to play b5 to do it so I can get my rooks over there and then play knight f5. But I just played, I mean, f6, king d7, rook e6 is just too tepid. And then I didn't know what to do here, so I traded rooks again. And this is this is just a draw. Mm -hmm. But but king d5 is terrible. Now I'm not even better. Yeah, that was just mm -hmm. terrible. Very bad play by me after I got a good position. Aww. It's not like the first game, but this is worse. Ding Lirin or Barbara Streisand? Oh, good question. Thank you for the sub, Mr. Sparta, Sparta CVS. 